the Burke is a place where everybody knows your name, you know, where everything about you matters, and that our goal is to not only provide you the best learning experiences, but also to connect those learning experiences within the school to greater opportunities for life experiences beyond the walls of the school. And as a result, we make sure that we offer children opportunities to participate in community service learning projects, um, that they see the world beyond just their neighborhood or beyond their school. This school is more like a school home. So when we think about school in its traditional sense, we think about these opportunities to just engage learning around assessments or to engage learning around you know, higher order thinking. But we don't think about schools as a place to grow the minds, the souls, the bodies, and the talents of individuals. For me, this is a school home. I began my educational career here at the Burke High School. So I started my career with, with 18 years um, teaching and participating in various other roles at the Burke High School to only go away to grow and to develop more in my craft and hence come full circle back to this school, only not as a teacher, as a leader. So I think what makes this school unique is that we think about this school and we think about the work we do in terms of wholeness. We really serve the whole child and it's difficult to stay focused around one's total being when you're faced with high stake accountability, when you're, st when you're faced with policy and political infrastructures that suggest, okay, testing is the way in which we define um, a student's ability and even a teacher's ability. Um, it's really hard to think beyond that, but I think what makes this school special is that we consider, again, the whole child. So we nurture, develop, love, and educate every child that comes. And we accept whatever it is they bring. And sometimes it's trauma or it's a challenge, but we don't say, hey, leave your trauma at home. We meet the trauma at the front door. We offer um, wellness and counseling. We have 25 interns on staff daily from Boston College, another seven advocates from Boston College that not only provide social services to students, but reach out to their families as well if needed. As part of the Burke community, um, in the last three years, we have been engaging uh, with, in, um, in community service. We have been taking students um, internationally to perform community service. We've been to Cape Verde, we've been to Puerto Rico, and this year we are traveling to Costa Rica because I want students and my other two um, colleagues, we want students to see that the community service has no boundaries and that their involvement in this project will benefit the lives of those in Costa Rica. Some of these kids have never been out of Boston. They, it was the first time for them getting a passport. So it was this whole experience throughout the year working, doing community service here, and then going to a different country and doing community service there was amazing. So this year we're taking them to Costa Rica to actually build a house. Your education is not only a book. Education is a big picture. So not only your education, but how you work in your community, your social skills, and all of these teach them how to grow in those aspects. So we're encouraging more learners, we're encouraging um, to, you know, get out of their cocoons, get out of like what it's uh, their everyday life, that there's another world out of here, that they need to travel, that they need to know, that they need to get out of Boston, that there's so much out of there just that school is not the only thing, that they need to go to college and experience this. So one of my kids is doing international uh, law now because he wanted to learn more about what's going on in other countries. So this has turned their, uh, you know, their um, ideas. The Burke is, is a school that, you know, we focus on building community. So we develop this program where, you know, we travel and these kids go together and they are part of the Burke High School. They are building this strong community and to go and, and, and just fall in love with helping others. Yeah. And hopefully that this continues in the wider world for them to become productive citizens in this society. We really love the 
visual arts here at the Burke. We offer um, dance, we have theater, we have yoga, we have traditional physical education. Uh, but most importantly, I want to talk about the art in the sense that it is a stress reliever for a lot of students and it's therapeutic in that it provides them a voice to sort of de-stress around many experiences that they can't account for. And in that light, we have one student, Clarita, who just received um, sort of a $3,000 prize for her art creation um, in a contest. And this piece will be blown up to about eight feet and featured in our new um, Dudley Street home. The competition basically was I was supposed to find out, make a piece, create a piece on how I view Boston and the people around me and I just thought of Boston to be like a very intricate place so I used colors to like I guess kind of represent all the different type of people and they moved in different type of ways, all the different type of styles that are in Boston. Hi, my name is Kelly Corrigan, and this is my third year here at the Burke. It's my 16th year in Boston Public Schools. This program offers a multimedia um, communications with gaming, so they get all the multimedia piece, which is very high end and industry level, but they also get the introduction to engineering piece, which they design apps, they design computer games, they work on both platforms as far as Mac and PC, and this program starts with them in 11th grade, and it follows them till two years out of high school. So they actually, our goal is that um, by the time they leave the Burke, they have the opportunity for Adobe professional certification, as well as we work with local colleges, especially like Ben Franklin Institute of Technology, where they're already getting college credits. So when they leave here, they could essentially have a professional certification, as well as college credits, and some experience in the fields with some of the major companies around here. We're part of the Adobe Youth Voices, which is a global program where students create media with meaning. So last year we had a couple of kids that qualified for it, and this year we expect to have several more that will qualify. So this is one of the pieces that I use um, with the Adobe Photoshop. This is the piece that I'm going to be you know, submitting to Adobe Youth Voices. As you can see, I used a lot of colors, a, lot of, a few vibrant colors to you know, bring out the message. It says that you must seek the true meaning of pain before you allow yourself to know the true meaning of peace. And I call this peace the puddle of peace because he's crying, you know, suffering. Suffering eventually leads to, you know, knowing what, you know, peace is and knowing what happiness is and stuff like that. I started off at the Burke teaching in the Freshman Academy. I was teaching Algebra 1 um, for the new coming freshmen, which was great because you got a group of students who really didn't know what high school was all about. So you get to create a foundation for them in terms of um, here's how you begin your career in high school. So about three years ago, um, I started um, with a group of students, um, a junior, Nesby Junior chapter here at the Burke, National Society of Black Engineer. Nesby Junior is a, ch is a, is a initiative pre-college initiative from the Nesby National Organization uh, that are really aimed at getting students to uh, consider careers in the, in the STEM uh, disciplines, such as um, science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, so one of the things the kids do are, you know, math competition, design competition, also link up with some uh, engineers locally in, in the Boston area uh, to serve as mentor and give them some guidance in terms of, of, of considering technical careers. Uh, the students uh, throughout the year, they, they're involved in math competitions at local universities. Uh, just recently, the, this year, the students placed second in our regional competition in New York. Um, they're also looking into uh, design competitions. So one of the things that we're doing today is taking apart some electronics so students can get an idea of some design techniques and some of the electrical components in, um, in electronic devices, such as cell phones, digital cameras, computers, and things like that. We're also gearing up for a wind turbine competition that we're going to be in in the next two weeks um, at the National Convention and, um, in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, the kids also, they travel to the other national um, conventions in Indianapolis and also Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania. And basically they go and they learn, they, they, they're in sessions that talk about 
personal development, as well as professional development, as well as look at some you know, different engineering discipline, chemical, uh, petroleum, biotech, um, engineering, mechanical engineering, some, even oceanography. They make you feel like you're in a family, like, you know, if you need anything, whether it's personal, whether it's to help you with your um, success in your schooling. I've had a great experience here because in my beginning year, I was a little bit rocky, you know, um, didn't get along with much people, but they helped me really see, like, what I was here for and what I was here to do. And one thing that I love about the school is that they prepare you for life. Since freshman year, I've been here, and every teacher that has been by my side all day, even after school when I need help, and they also have city year who are there to like help you with homework or anything you don't understand. So every time you have a problem in school, there's always someone there to help you, no matter what, 100%. When I first heard about the Berg, there were a lot of, I've heard a lot of like horrible rumors and misconceptions of this high school, but when I came here, um, I can tell you right now that all of those are wrong. Um, there's a lot of support and um, programs here for the students and if they apply themselves and actually go out to do that, they can really improve a lot in the school. We have a ton of AP classes and if you go get in contact with like Mr. Ennis or anything, they will help you get that support you need to like evolve and like go let's to a college that you want. They'll help you get that support to go to where you need to go. Just to add to what, what Cynthia was saying, my experience here was really helpful because the resources are available and I just needed to apply myself and look for them. I would tell parents that this is a place where their child would be served holistically. This is a place that um, judges our success on their child's ability to find success. So I would tell the parents that we would welcome you, your child, and your extended community to our school family.